your majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always returning trust you and yours are well and you're loving your servant others like always many thanks to all of you for your support for all that you do for this community to keep growing all right i'm going to leave a picture up here right now you can see this what comes to your mind as you're looking at this picture right now what is in your mind what are you thinking about what's the first thing no don't mind the the thumbnail or the title just sincerely from your heart what comes to your mind immediately you saw this picture now that will take us to the serpent temple in the vatican all right and it is perceived to be an audience hall built for discussion all right where the pope have some audience with um the people he is to have his audience with now some years ago this was going viral to some point and it was the bunk oh you're trying to spoil the name of the church um you're trying to solve the name of the catholic church a church that have been in existence over 2000 years and um there have been lots of heresy there have been lots of people trying to bring down the reputation of this church and this church have stood because um, christ have said that he had built his church on a solid foundation and that the gates of hell cannot prevail against it so telling you directly that whatever you say or do is not important because um, the church had to be the way it is the symbol of a snake have always been a sign from ages past that have been used now when you look at that logo of of uh, word who you see that snake right there you look at the logo of um, every hospital there is a snake there you look at the logo of um, some cultic association or groups you see the snake there and this is the very um reptile that we feel brought down humanity deceived eve into eating the apple this is it and it is right here before our eyes and um, you can't just say anything why should it be the symbol why should it be that of this snake why should it be a snake the roman bath england notice the serpent symbol the serpent is the life giver you find it in egypt you find it in hinduism everywhere you find the serpent it is the most prominent symbol there you have the hydra you find it everywhere would you find it in Catholicism? Of course. And the main crest of the Vatican has the dragon serpent on it. The greatest serpents in the world you will find on Bernini's canopy in Rome. It's interesting that St. Paul's Cathedral, which was a Protestant cathedral, has been totally rebuilt and now has a duplicate of Bernini's canopy inside it. Vatis means the diviner. Khan is the serpent. Vatican means the divining serpent. Dragon worship, that's what it is. The Bible says the dragon gave him his seat and power and great authority. The Bible says the dragon gave him his seat and power and great authority. There's the same symbol as was used for pagan Rome because the Vatican has taken the seat of Caesar. It's one and the same thing. There's the ancient symbol of the dragon on a Roman bridge. The Vatican has just taken it over. The greatest serpents in the world you will find on Bernini's canopy in Rome. It's interesting that St. Paul's Cathedral, which was a Protestant cathedral, has been totally rebuilt and now has a duplicate of, Saint, of Bernini's canopy inside it. Okay, guys, it's time we pull the veil back, man. We're getting too far into this whole deal. It, it, everything that we're seeing is a psyop. It's been a psyop our entire life. I don't know if you know what you're looking at right here, but this is called the serpent 
temple at the Vatican. Google it. Google Vatican Serpent Temple. You see the Pope right here on the stage. He is preaching from the mouth of a viper. I hope you understand the significance of this. This is a viper in front of us. You can see up at the top picture of the fangs, the eyes, the snake skin, all of it. This is the stage in the background. As you can see here, that's not Jesus in the background. I hope you can understand that and realize that. I want you guys to search this out because we're this. it's time to break the matrix right now. I know a lot of us grew up Catholic. We're Christians. You've got to understand that the Vatican has created every single religion on earth, and they've done it for a reason. It's, it's divide and conquer, to keep us fighting against each other, to keep the vibrational frequency, frequency of earth at a low frequency of hate and fear. Jesus brought us the cheat code to get out of this matrix, and that's unconditional love. It's scientifically proven as one of the highest vibrational frequencies us as human beings can put out. So that's the cheat code. They do everything they possibly can to keep us wrapped up in this matrix and keep us at a low vibration, right? So it's time to break the chains here. The Catholic Church is the oldest organization that's ever lived and survived all the ages up until today. And why do you think that it has been surviving the ages? It's because it has captured our emotions, all right? It's in charge of how we think, they control how we think, they control what we say, they control what we believe in. So much an organized association. But this same church is holding the secrets of the world the darkest secrets of the world are in the archive of the, the the vatican and it's painful that right now the amounts of people in the continent of africa that have given their soul their mind and everything to the catholic church to the vatican is so much that you just you just don't you can't you just can't imagine they are now the custodians. So when you open your mouth to say anything, they tag you as a demonic person and you're dying and you're going straight to hell. Like in short, you have a, a, a free ticket now to hellfire because you say things that have to be said. You become an evil person. The organization came to the continent of Africa through the church. You hear what was written to the missionaries. The letter of King Leopold to, to, to the, the missionaries in the Congo, it wasn't just alone in the Congo. It's all the missionaries around. This is exactly what I did to our foreparents and our ancestors. And no, we don't have any right to complain. And it's so painful right now that our ancestors are seeing their offspring. We should defend them and now the forerunners of the Roman Empire. They claim, oh, this is the right thing. This is how to serve the Almighty. You are serving what? You are serving the Almighty while you are serving their own deity. By day. We keep losing it. Until we turn back and sit down and rethink. Because the moment you don't see anything wrong with what you do, you keep doing it. You keep doing it. But the moment you discover, oh no, something is wrong with this, why should it be like this? Then you begin to pull out gradually. What do you think? Leave your comment and thought there in the section and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always your majesties. Bye for now.